In this video, we'll show you how to install the macOS system onto the Mate Mini's SSD. First, install an SSD into the Mate Mini. Then connect the Mate Mini to a Mac Mini. Next, open the App Store. Search for Mac OS Sequoia. Click View. And then click Get. When the download prompt appears, click Download. While the software is downloading, let's prepare the external SSD. This step will erase all data on the drive, so be sure to back up your data beforehand. First, locate an open disk utility, click on the external SSD. Click Erase. You can name it as you like. Select APFS as the format, then click Erase. After the erasing is complete, click Done. Close the window. Now, let's proceed with the software installation. Click Agree to the terms. Select the yellow colored drive. Select your user account. Enter your password to unlock. Please wait patiently for the installation to finish. Once done, click Restart. Next, when the setup interface shows up, select your country or region. If you need a clean installation and set up this Mac without transferring any data, you can choose Set Up as New. If you want to migrate your previous system data, you can select the first option, which is From a Mac, Time Machine Backup, or Startup Disk. Here, we'll go with the first option. Enter your password. Continue with the default language and input settings. Once you reach the accessibility screen, click Not Now. Then, you'll be taken to the Data and Privacy screen. Click Continue. Then, you'll arrive at the transfer information to this Mac screen. Select your original disk and continue. Choose the information you want to transfer. Here, we'll select everything. Now you will need to set a password. Enter your password. Confirm it. Then click Continue. If the system prompts, the user account Mac already exists on this Mac. Do you want to replace it or keep both accounts? Choose Replace to overwrite the existing account. Then click Continue. Click Authorize, enter your password, and click OK to confirm the authorization. Then click Continue. Wait patiently for the data transfer to finish. Once it is done, click Restart Now. On the Terms and Conditions page, click Agree to continue, and click Agree again when prompted. When you reach the sign-in screen, choose Set Up Later. Then Continue and then get started. Go to System Settings, General, About. You'll see the storage now is one terabyte. To switch back to the original operating system, you can open System Settings, go to General, and select the original disk as Startup Disk. Select the original drive, enter your password, and click Restart. Your Mac will reboot from the original drive.